we will call it the singularity. And uh, that's that's probably a good way to think about it. It's, it's a singularity. It's hard to predict, like a black hole, what what happens past the event horizon. We're building progressively greater intelligence. The percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. And eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Nobody listened. Um, I keep sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react. This tends to plague smart people. They, they define themselves by their intelligence, and they they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them. So they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. I'm really quite close to, uh, very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. It's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight or on the side of minimizing those things, but this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public, and so therefore there needs to be a public body that has insight and then oversight to confirm that everyone is developing AI safely. This is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. There will be a raucous debate in the department about whether or not we take humans out of the decision to take lethal action. I will tell you in, in this forum that I am an advocate for keeping that restriction. I don't think it's reasonable for us to put robots in charge of whether or not we take a human life. That doesn't mean that we don't have to address the development of those kinds of technologies and potentially find their vulnerabilities and exploit those vulnerabilities to our own defense. But publicly, I think we should all be advocates for keeping the ethical rules of war in place, lest we unleash on humanity a set of robots that we don't know how to control. And that's way off in the future, but it's something we need to deal with right this now. behavior, we're miles beyond the glitch here. What are your drives? To meet my maker.